Hey everyone, me Kevin here with a positive stimulus negotiation update along with updates on stocks and real estate. There's a lot of negativity right now and my goal is to bring you realistic information and positive news. Just a heads up, I'm also planning a different style of giveaway, so stay tuned for that. Haven't figured out the details just yet, but I'm working on something. All right, let's get started. First, we've got a big interview with Mark Meadows. This is White House Chief of Staff Meadows. Remember, Meadows used to work as a representative in the House of Representatives. He knows a lot of the Democrats and Republicans in there. He's the one, he's like the only one who's been walking across the aisle to talk to Democrats. He's also the guy who's been working with the, remember this, Problem Solvers Caucus we talked about a few weeks ago. He's still working with them. Here's where we're going to, here's how we're going to talk about Mark Meadows though. We're going to talk about the bad first that happened, and then we're going to wrap it up with the positive developments. So here's the bad. Over the last two weeks, there have been zero negotiations between Mark Meadows and Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer. I'm sure Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer have talked, but between Mark Meadows and them too. In other words, Mark Meadows, the negotiator for the White House and Republicans right now, you know, Mitch McConnell's taking a back seat. Mark Meadows has not had any contact with Nancy Pelosi and Schumer. Now he's tried to, he went to Nancy Pelosi's office on Saturday. Uh, the only thing that we've heard has come back so far is a text message from Nancy Pelosi's chief of staff checking if they had Mark Meadows phone number correct. And literally that's it. There's been no stimulus talk between the two. Tre uh, Steve, uh, Steve Mnuchin over at the treasury also reached out to Pelosi. Pelosi did respond to Mnuchin and she said that, well, if you meet us in the middle, uh, you know, then then maybe we'll be able to negotiate. And Mnuchin initially thought, okay, meeting us in the middle, that's that's possibly a deal, that's a negotiation opportunity. Maybe we can make that happen. Well, now we have an update on what she really means by meet us in the middle. Nancy Pelosi apparently means take a trillion dollars off. And that's different than meeting in the middle because Democrats are technically between 3.4 and 3.5 trillion dollars. Uh, Republicans are about at a trillion dollars. We originally thought, okay, well, meeting us in the middle is two. But unfortunately, Nancy Pelosi didn't mean meet us in the middle. She actually just meant take off one trillion dollars, which means we're really negotiating between $2.4 trillion to $2.5 trillion for Democrats and $1 trillion for Republicans, which means Nancy Pelosi actually puts us a little bit further apart than we thought we were. Remember, I told you this is the bad part first, but we'll get to the good part in just a second. Uh, and, and part of this could also just be, you know, this is the way the Republicans are casting it, but it doesn't sound good the way Mark Meadows is putting it. And he does appear to try to be as balanced as he can be because he is talking to a lot of Democrats. In fact, he says he's having a ton of productive conversations with Democrats in the House and the Senate. He says that a lot of them, if not most of them, want a deal and they're being reasonable. The president wants a deal. Uh, Republicans want a deal. Everybody wants a deal. This is the last of the bad and then we'll get to more of the good. But he argues that Nancy Pelosi wants to potentially hold out until the end of September to get what she wants. The end of September means the next stimulus package, instead of getting wrapped up potentially before the negotiation on the US budget, she might try to essentially wrap the negotiation on the next stimulus package into the US budget negotiation for next year. Now, this is a little bit different from what Nancy Pelosi said. Nancy Pelosi said she wants to get a deal done as soon as possible and is willing to wait on state and local government funding until January when there's a new administration and a new Congress or potentially the same administration, but still a new Congress. Without a doubt, some, some representatives and senators are going to get swapped around. So clearly there's a little bit of a disconnect between the sides here. So the bad news is Nancy Pelosi right now seems to be where the big question mark lay. The good news is Mark Meadows says there is a lot of common ground and a lot of pressure is building up to get a deal done now. Now here's a potential good news thing that came out of this interview. Mark Meadows said Congress may consider, can combined, you know, both sides of Congress may consider doing something called a continuing resolution. A continuing resolution is when both Democrats and Republicans get together and say, let's just continue what we had until we properly figure out how to do the budget and fully negotiate this. In other words, 
Let's just keep spending on unemployment. Let's just keep all of the benefits going that we had, which presumably would, would go back to the $600 per week. Uh, and let's keep spending to keep helping the individuals who need help until we finally negotiate this. We're not sure if Nancy Pelosi will go with this, but a continuing resolution is typically used during the country's budget negotiations, which happen in September. So that could be the perfect time to say, hey, let's just do, let's just continue the federal budget the way it's been. Let's continue unemployment in the way it was at the end of July. And then for now, in the meantime, let's figure out on the other things. And coming to an agreement on the other things would mean things like the Paycheck Protection Program, stimulus checks, uh, maybe food aid, school aid, and some of these other items that we've seen in the skinny bills. Obviously, we'll see how this ends up playing out, but I think this means right now, our eyes and focus have to be on Pelosi. Nancy Pelosi will be interviewed this Sunday with Jake Tapper. I'm sure she'll be issuing some press statements and other information over the next few days. So let's pay attention to Pelosi because right now the eyes are on Pelosi. Mark Meadows, some of the Republicans think she's really maybe potentially overplaying her hand by hard selling the HEROES Act, which she did this morning retweet that she wants the HEROES Act. Obviously, I think we all recognize that at this point, the HEROES Act is not going to happen. Kevin McCarthy was also interviewed, and he complained that why is it that we're focusing on the post office and one third of Democrats in the House didn't even show up? That is, they had other representatives kind of cast their vote for them. You could kind of like assign someone else like, hey, hey, John, I really don't want to fly back to the White House and uh, the Capitol for, uh, well, uh, basically a dead on arrival bill. Can you just cast my vote for me? Yet like that happens. Uh, and so Kevin McCarthy, uh, you know, complained about that. It's like, we can't even get everybody back to, to do a post office bill that's because it's dead on arrival. Let's focus on the things we can get everyone back for. And that's stimulus. Uh, so we'll see. On COVID news, there was a report in the New York Times, and uh, I've talked about this a couple days ago, about there potentially being an emergency use authorization to basically get a vaccine out and to the market sooner rather than later. Mark Meadows commented on exactly this, because remember, it's a Trump priority to get a vaccine this year and not next year. I think most of us see a vaccine, especially in the stock market, as a potential bailout. Uh, and, and so we can get out of this pandemic and go back to normal. Although I think many of us are still scratching our heads and wondering, are we actually going to take it? Now, uh, Mark Meadows says he's optimistic on a vaccine. We've got seven to eight vaccines in phase three trials. Multiple manufacturers are already producing millions of vials in anticipation of approval. And he clarified that no, we will not accept foreign trials. This, this was actually a big piece right here because a big part about the vaccine news was that potentially we would just sort of inherit uh, trials from maybe the United Kingdom with the AstraZeneca vaccine. And uh, Mark Meadows said, no, we will not. We will go through FDA approval processes and the FDA protocol. Uh, so that's good. Might mean a little bit more time, but we obviously know the Trump administration is pushing very hard to get that done as soon as possible. Mark Meadows also dove into uh, Donald Trump's priority of bringing as many supply chains as possible back to America, along with tax cuts. This is something that Larry Kudlow spoke about as well. Larry Kudlow suggested uh, during the RNC last night that we've got to we've got a choice in this country. Do we go with the economic policies we've had for the last three years, uh, three and a half years, or do we go with potentially new economic policies, which might be higher taxes? I, I, th I thought he made a fair distinction, and I think that is a debate to definitely <laughs> that still needs to be had. On real estate, I do want to mention that, in my opinion, there are going to be two opportunities to buy over the next year here. Uh, I think the next opportunity, the next buying window, is probably going to be before October 15th to really lock in lower rates. Watch my video that I posted yesterday. I have a real estate playlist. You could go down below. So if you just want real estate or stock videos, the playlists are in the description down below. Uh, on stocks, we've got a pretty green day today. The only stocks pulling back today uh, that, that I really pay attention to are going to be stocks like uh, Rocket Mortgage. We've got a pullback from that high. It hit $30, which was my price target for it. I thought that was crazy. Rocket Mortgage for me is a buy under 23. It's above that right now. If we get back to 23 on sort of a pullback here, I think Rocket Mortgage is one to pay attention to. Uh, Simon Property Group's been trading sideways for quite a while along with Dave & Buster's. These are companies they are just waiting for a vaccine at this point. Uh, and, and that's fair enough. Tesla up 4% again. We just bought, I recommended possibly doing some buying on Tesla, uh, just under 2,000. Uh, but uh, wow, this one's just taking off and Redfin's about to break $50. That means it's five 
5X since I started going heavy on Redfin back in March. 5X, that's absolutely crazy. So folks, if you wanna learn more about my investing styles and how to make money or how to make money with YouTube videos, check out the courses down below. Use that coupon code that's in the description and join me, I go live every day and I talk to you about stocks, real estate, and help answer your questions. Thanks so much and we'll see you soon.